The Egyptian pyramid is one of the most mysterious structures on this planet. No one knows when they were built, how they were built, who built them, and most importantly, why were they built? Consisting of 2.3 million stones, cut and fit together with laser precision, the pyramids weigh 6 million tons. And not just that, many of these stones weigh around 80 tons and had to be transported from over 500 miles. When new, the pyramids reflected the sun rays in such a way, you would think they were giant jewels. Such a magnificent structure that still stands tall after thousands of years, is a wonder in itself, and a mystery too. In comparison, modern-day architecture like the Eiffel Tower can only last for 20 years if not regularly and diligently maintained. And as such, the question that lingers after all these years is who built the pyramids? Were humans capable enough to build something of such massive scale? Or did we receive outside help? And why was building it so important? Did it serve a greater purpose? In today's video, we will take you on a journey across time to find out what secrets do the pyramids hold that baffled even the mind of the great Nikola Tesla, and how he was so close to replicating it, to create free energy for the whole world. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Located at the Goldilocks zone of a rather lonely and insignificant star, the Earth welcomes Nikola Tesla, thousands of years after the construction of the pyramids. And as we know, Tesla would go on to become one of the most influential people to ever live on this planet. This child would be fluent in eight languages, perform integral and differential calculus in his head, and recite all the Siberian epic poems from memory. He would also go on to invent the hydroelectric dam, neon lighting, radio control, the electric motor, and experiment with cryogenic engineering, years before it became public knowledge. He would also discover the resonant frequency of the Earth, something that wasn't confirmed to be correct, until 50 years later. In fact, Tesla's contributions to mankind are so vast, that he is 80% directly responsible for the technology that we use today. Tesla believed that the pyramids of Giza, served a higher purpose, and was investigating them throughout his life. He wondered if they weren't giant transmitters of energy, a thought that coincided with his investigation into how to send energy, wirelessly. He realized that the ionosphere was sparkling with electrical energy, which could be tapped. He looked at the Earth as though it were a giant electrical generator, spinning around two magnetic poles, from which limitless energy could be produced. With that, in 1905, Tesla filed a patent in the US titled, The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium, outlining designs for a series of generators around the world, which would tap the ionosphere for energy collections. His triangle-shaped design became known as Tesla's Electromagnetic Pyramid. But here is the thing. After his mysterious death, his discovery and device disappeared. Which makes you wonder, did Nikola Tesla truly find a way to generate unlimited power? Did he really know the secret of the Great Pyramid? When Tesla received $150,000 from JP Morgan to build his wireless station, the latter made sure that he had 51% interest in the company as well as a 51% share in present and future wireless patents, developed from the project. This was rather strange on Morgan's part to invest in something that would directly hamper the economy and be fatal to his other products. Tesla's system would have put the world then, into a deep recession, possibly a very deep depression. Much of the economy was based upon building the power grid and the generation of electricity, both offering huge numerous revenue streams and jobs. Wireless would eliminate that along with the power plants. The conventional electric system creating a revenue stream would collapse. Tesla's innovative electrical system had to be stopped anyhow, at any cost, because Tesla could not be trusted, because Tesla was inventing outside the comfort zone of the capitalists, because Tesla was just different. But JP Morgan and Tesla were friends, weren't they? Why would he do that to his friend? It is said that the likes of Morgan, Edison, Marconi, and many more, were mere puppets in the hands of something very powerful. But that topic is for another day, and we promise we will work on it soon. For now though, let's get back to Nikola Tesla, and the pyramids. 
It is believed that the Pyramid of Giza is a tomb built for Khufu, the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh, who ruled 4,500 years ago. Why is then that it doesn't have any characteristics of other Egyptian tombs? There are no hieroglyphs, artifacts, or any elaborate wall art. On top of that, mummies have never been found there, however, many